What it means to be spiritual slash what is spirituality. So let's hop right into it. We're going to first start off by defining spirit. I say defining by defining spiritual. So spiritual is composed of two parts, spirit and then the suffix ul. Now, if you look up spirit on Google, it says the non-physical part of the human being, pretty much. You feel me? And then the suffix ul or al, because they mean the same exact thing, means being of or pertaining to. So the word spirit means being of the non-physical part of yourself. That's what spiritual means. Now, spirituality, right, is composed of three parts. Spirit, ul, and then itzy. You feel me? Now, you already know what spirit and ul mean. Then you have the suffix itzy, which means, hold up, I have it on my laptop. It means the state. It means expressing state, condition, or quality. So spirituality is just the states of being of the non-physical part of yourself. Or the condition of being of the non-physical part of yourself. That's what it means. Now, you got to get this, right? You got to think about what's the non-physical part of yourself. Well, what do you define as physical? Do you define, like, for example, light, right, is a physical thing. But a lot of people will not define light as a physical thing. So, you know. If you define, if you don't define light as a physical thing, then shit like your thoughts, your intelligence, motherfucking, all that shit is non-physical. So if you're just simply getting smarter, right? If you're boosting your intelligence, right? You're on some spiritual shit. You're you're becoming more of the non-physical part of yourself by boosting your intelligence. If you're working on your emotions, which if you don't consider light physical, then your emotions are not physical. If you If you don't consider your emotions physical, Right? And if you work on your emotions, you're working on the non physical part of yourself, right? Now we're going to get a bit more literal. You feel me? Because you can use the simple definition based off of Google, which just means being of the non physical part of yourself, or you could really think about what spirit actually is. So, spirit, right? You only have one spirit. There's no such thing as spirits. What people call spirits are either ghosts or entities, but those are not spirits. There's only one spirit. And the spirit, right, is the creating and sustaining force of this whole entire universe. Now, it's not the creator. It's the creative force. For example, let's say that you write some shit down with your hand, right? Your hand's the creative force, but it's you who used your hand to create that shit. You feel me? So... You could say the most highest being, if you want to call it God or whatever, uses the spirit to create reality. You feel me? It's like it's like it's like God's hand that it uses to create reality. You feel me? That's the spirit. And the thing is, human beings, right, are supposed to be in tune with the spirit because we're supposed to carry out God's actions, quote unquote God, right? Depending on what you believe. It depends on what you believe God is, but we could get into that in a whole different video. You feel me? Because for a general understanding, you understand that for a general understanding, right? God, in the most general terms, is just the highest being in existence right if you want to call it that and we're all simply a part of that thing and we're supposed to carry out those actions what stops us is the fact that when we have distorted thoughts which means that we can't properly think like the spirit we have distorted feelings so we can't properly feel like the spirit our food's fucked up so that's just blocking us even more you have you have environmental toxins that's just fucking us up you have a lot of shit that's fucking you up from being able to receive the spirit you feel me now look get this right the egyptians used to used the sun to symbolize the spirit, right? And peep this. Your the sun low-key controls how you act because the sun being up and down makes you release certain hormones and chemicals and shit like that, right? Now with that shit being said, right? Most of us are not in tune with the sun's rhythms and shit like that. We're out of tune with that shit, you feel me? And part of yoga is that's supposed to harmonize you with that shit, you feel me? But yeah, a lot of us are actually out of tune with that with that shit, with the sun and everything like that. So therefore, we're not even properly carrying out the right action and stuff like that, you feel me? But um, but yeah, I'm not going to say that that's too important. I don't know how important that actually is yet. So let me not say it's not too important, but I do want to point that shit out. The sun look controls how the fuck you act. But because you're, but because you're already distorted in some way, when the sun comes up and shit and releases certain chemicals, it may make you do different shit than you were supposed to do. You feel me? Like, let's say at fucking, at fucking 8 a.m., the sun makes you release serotonin, right? But because you're fucked up, you release serotonin at 9 o'clock instead of 8 o'clock. You feel me? Like, some shit like that. You feel me? But at the same time, because we're conscious beings, I feel like as you grow in consciousness, I don't know how much the sun really controls and governs your actions. I'm not too sure about that because I haven't, I don't even think, 
I know for a fact that I'm not, my circadian rhythms are not in tune with the sun. So I don't actually know how this shit fully is, but that's just a little bit of information. So if you want to become real technical, right? Being spiritual means becoming of the spirit, becoming of the creative and sustaining force of the whole entire universe. So basically getting in tune with that shit. Because as human beings, what, is our, what are we able to do that other animals can't do? We can actually create a lot of shit on this goddamn earth. Like, yeah, animals can build little nests and territories and shit like that. We could build technology and shit. We could actually create shit that actually helps the earth. But instead, we use our creative power to destroy the earth, which is fucking sad. But that's why spirituality is actually important. Because you're supposed to, you're supposed to be able to get in tune with that force that sustains the whole entire universe. A.K.A. get in tune with the sun and the circadian rhythm and shit like that. You feel me? You do that shit through yoga. You feel me? But even, like, if you, even if you say just fuck the sun for now, right? Fuck the sun real quick. Doing yoga helps you with that shit in general. You feel me? So, um, yeah, on my channel, I have a video about what the fuck yoga is. You have yoga for your mind, which is basically just, just read and shit and get your thoughts right. For your emotions, you have to be devoted to life. You feel me? Or quote, or God, if you want to call it God. You have, to, you have to be devoted to something higher than yourself. And you must practice rituals. You must practice shit that makes you feel good. You feel me? Like, it could be religious rituals type shit, like including deities and shit like that. Or it could be regular shit like motherfucking, you like to just go in the motherfucking, you have to take a bath and light some candles and shit and just relax. Like, that's a ritual right there that makes you feel really motherfucking good, you feel me? So that could be one, you feel me? For, um, you also have to change how you act and you do this shit just through simply just changing how you act. You, you study philosophies that kind of help you determine how the fuck you think you want to act. You also, you, and since you also think differently from yoga of wisdom and shit like that, you change your thinking. You also learn how you actually want to act and how to plan out your actions. Then you got to build your willpower, which is through meditation and shit like that. Specifically, meditation when you concentrate on something and stuff like that. Because concentration is stuff builds your fucking willpower and shit like that. You feel me? And then you also have concentra concentra concentration and focus, I should say. And then you also have the life force cultivation yoga, which basically is just building up energy with inside the body. Doing the other four yogas are going to help you because if you, if you stop thinking stupid, you're going to waste less energy. You stop feeling stupid, you're going to waste less energy. You stop acting stupid, less energy. You stop, you stop uh, acting Thing on dumb shit like if you have no willpower right then that means you often act on shit that you shouldn't act on you don't act on shit that you should act on you feel me if you do if you do shit like that if you stop doing shit like that you're gonna have more energy and then plus breathing breathing exercises and shit like that helps you cultivate life force energy also aka just right i'm just saying energy in general you feel me it helps you cultivate energy is what's inside the body and shit like that and doing all that shit gets you back in tune with the creative and sustaining force of the universe you feel me and then you can become a creative and sustaining force in this universe and you can just do a whole bunch of magnificent shit on this goddamn planet and then yeah that's what it means to be spiritual so simply it means to become of the non-physical part of yourself but if you want to be really literal it means to become of the spirit and the spirit is the creative and sustaining force of, is the creative and sustaining force of the universe you feel me so the point the purpose of spirituality is to get you in tune with that shit so that way you can properly carry out quote unquote god's actions and then you know and then basically act act in your highest most godly manner on this earth and actually help everyone else and all the beings that being animals and everything else on the goddamn earth you feel me you feel me